What's up YouTube, Big J Basketball here with another box break video, doing some 1819 Chronicles. Uh, coming to the end of our 1819 stuff with 1920 stuff coming around the corner. Um, kind of do something a little different today. We got a hanger box, Target 1098 blaster, 1999, and then a hobby box, $130. Um, I think everyone knows your chances of getting some hits out of this product are way better out of the hobby than they are out of the retail packages, but we got 30 bucks combined here versus $130 here. So we're gonna rip all three of these and let's see if we can figure out uh, just exactly how much of a better deal, uh, or how much more you get for your money going with the hobby as opposed to the retail. Uh, Big J Basketball Instagram back there, always adding new content. We got some people helping us out. So I already ripped some 1819 Chronicles earlier. One of the nicest cards I got was this Obsidian Preview Doncic rookie. So it's got the preview stamp on the back there. Um, this was before the Obsidian product was actually uh, released. So this was the only thing you could see Obsidian wise in basketball before the actual product was released. And then last year's Chronicles um, was a Jaron Fox, a uh, really nice RPA. It was a sticker auto and not the cleanest auto, um, but still really good player. Going to have a big season uh, coming up starting just this week. Um, 103 of 199 on that one. So we pulled that out of 17, 18 Chronicles. That was actually one of, um, one of my first box break videos here on YouTube. So go back and check that one out if you want to. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we got... Uh, Three boxes to rip. Might take a little bit longer than one of my normal videos, but I still think it, it'll be a good test to see kind of what we can pull out of here. And really compare the retail versus hobby um, back to back to back. This is, was one of the most fun products to rip for 18, 19. There were just so many good things you could pull out. So many rookies, you know, this kind of showed all the products that Panini had in the past that they just didn't produce this year. So you could potentially pull, you know, seven or eight different rookie cards of one player uh, just in this one set. So, so first we've got our hanger pack. So we got Reggie Jackson. So there'll probably be a couple vets here. Jared Allen, and then we'll we'll get most of the rookies after that. So this is what the actual Chronicles base looks like. LeBron James, very nice. Always like getting LeBron. D Rose, Pistons. Can he have another big comeback here uh, next year? PG 13, gonna miss the first 10 or so games of this upcoming season. Uh, Jamal Murray, and here we start with the rookies. Um, so what we'll do is we'll probably try and stack all these out on separate uh, pieces here so we can kind of compare what we get in each product. So. Musa, rookie, Josh Okoji, Wendell Carter Jr., Brandon Ingram. This is a green parallel, so I think these green parallels are um, retail exclusives. I'm not sure if it's just hanger exclusives and blaster, or just hanger, or if it's all, all retail exclusives, but there's a nice green parallel there. Brandon Ingram. Uh, another green parallel here of the playoff is uh, Lonnie Walker, fourth, so these aren't numbered. Just a green, standard green parallel. Mo Bamba Studio. I really like the look of a lot of these cards. Uh, the studio has such a nice uh, kind of classy, clean look to it. It's Bamba, another Wendell Carter Jr. Another Bamba. <laughs> this seems to happen too, is you, you once you get one or two rookies out of the pack, it seems like you pull all the same rookie throughout the whole pack. So we've already pulled a couple Wendell Carter Juniors and a couple Mo Bambas. Wouldn't be surprised if that keeps keeps up. Colin Sexton, this is another green parallel. Um, this is the uh, Essentials. So again, there was Essentials in 718, not in 1819. Um, but this is another green parallel on the Essentials. So lots of green parallels near. Oh, there we go. Trey Young Crusade. Again, Crusade was a really nice product that they stopped making. Uh, but a really nice look to these cards. So Trey Young is definitely a nice one to get there. Oh, another Obsidian Preview. Awesome. So just like the uh, Luca I was showing you earlier, um, here's the Wendell Carter Jr. version of the Subsidian. It's a nice thick stock card, 
a little bit thicker uh, than a lot of these other cards in this set. Got that preview on the back. So last couple of cards, not too bad. Okay, another Sexton, Zaire Smith, Alonzo Trier. There's another Luka, Luka Doncic. Flipping these, I feel like I'm going through a Donruss pack right now with all this flipping. Mikhail Bridges, Rodion's Curix, Devontae Graham, Jacob Evans III, Kevin Herter, Alonzo Trier, and a Hamadou Diallo dunk contest, James. So, decent rooks in there. Um, again, got the nice uh, Obsidian preview, uh, the Crusade of the Trey Young. Those are probably two of the nicest cards uh, we hit there. Um, nothing numbered, no mem cards, no autos, no nothing like that. But again, for an $11 hanger pack, I feel the value is a lot better picking up something like that than, you know, a Donruss or a Threads or, or any of those other kind of hanger packs. Uh, but now that we've gone through that, let's check out the blaster. Let's see if we can get anything good in here. So the blaster, 40 total cards in a blaster. Let's see how many, yeah, five cards per pack, eight packs per box. Rookie Jersey Auto is red, or Origins Rookie Autographs red and more. So definitely a chance of autos in here. I've opened probably maybe three or so of these so far. Didn't pull any autos. Like I said, probably the Luca Obsidian Preview is one of the better cards uh, I pulled. So that was our hanger. Now onto our blaster. See if we can pull anything than just uh, like standard rookies and stuff out of here. So Elia Kobo Marquis, Hamadou Diallo. This is a pink parallel. So I do think, so here's kind of a base, pink parallel of the Diallo. So I think the pink parallel um, is exclusive. Uh, yeah, this pink parallel, you can tell the difference between the base and the pink parallel here. The, so the, the green parallel was on the hangers. We got the pink parallels in the uh in the blasters again not numbered just a standard parallel trey young base panini rookie vince carter one more season for vince carter Let's see what he can do this year his his last season the oldest guy in the league chandler hutchison Backwards cards here. Kawhi. Jaron Jackson Jr., always a good one to get. Oh, here we go. Chandler Hutchison is actually is a numbered card. Um, it's a red parallel on the Rookies and Stars. Numbered 148 of 149. Not too bad. It's actually the first time I've ever pulled a numbered card uh, out of one of these blaster boxes. And then we got a Ben Simmons uh, pink parallel there. So, already some decent stuff in the first two packs of Chronicles out of the blaster. Kevin Knox, Elite. Let's see here. Karis Levert, Lou Williams, Elliot Okobo, Gary Clark, Rookies and Stars, and Kevin Knox, Elite. So, nothing huge out of that pack. Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr. I've been pulling a ton of his stuff lately. Uh, I pulled that really sweet uh, RPA of his, number to 24, out of uh, Immaculate. And I also pulled um, a number to 99 rookie of his out of uh, Optic. Josh Richardson, Kevin Herter, and uh, I really like these Crusades a lot. I wish Panini would bring this back. Koji. So just four packs left out of our blaster, and then we get to the, the big time hobby that should pull definitely some better stuff out of that one. Blake Griffin, DeAndre Ayton rookie. Always like pulling Ayton stuff. 
Mikhail Bridges, pink parallel. Kevin Knox, pink parallel. And Jalen Brunson, essentials base. Okay. Sexton, Laurie Markinen, DSJ, Hamadou Diallo and a LaMarcus Aldridge pink parallel. So not really many rookies in that pack. Kind of rare for a Chronicles pack. You typically get more rookies uh, than vets out of most of this stuff. All right, pulling a lot of, a lot of Colin Sexton here. Gasol, Hassan Whiteside, now in Portland. Shea Gildas Alexander, got a lot of his stuff. Mitchell Robinson, I know a lot of Knicks fans are really high on Mitchell Robinson, hoping he has a kind of a leap year next year and Sexton. Again, Cavs still without any real chance of making the playoffs again this year, so maybe Sexton can be one of those good stats, bad teams guys. Uh, has a nice kind of sophomore season. Victor Oladipo coming back from that injury. Probably won't play till late December, early January. Let's hope he can turn it around. Colin Anthony Towns. Javon Carter, rookie, Bagley, with the uh, kind of the chrome parallel there of the standard Chronicles compared to the, the base, and a Troy Brown Jr. So didn't get anything super great out of, uh, out of that blaster. Probably uh, got a couple nice rookies, um, probably, you know, Trey Young, A.N., some Jaron Jackson Jr., probably this... Uh, Chandler Hutchison, I mean, not not the top rookie, obviously, but, you know, it is nice pulling a, a numbered card there out of a blaster. Okay, so here is where we should pull some some better stuff. So not too surprised about what we, what we pulled out of, out of the retail. So for, you know, 30 bucks total, a couple decent cards, probably not 30 bucks worth of cards, honestly, but... Uh, a lot bigger chances of pulling stuff out of here. Ultra Rare Gallo Rookies, numbered eight. That would be pretty awesome to grab one of those. Two autographs per box on average. Um, six packs per box, eight cards per pack. So I'm really hoping we pull a good auto out of here. All right, so we got our six packs here, two autos. I've seen a lot of really good stuff pulled out of these hobby boxes uh, and some other videos I've seen online. So let's hope we get some of that same luck that some of the other people have had uh, ripping the hobby chronicles. This is my first time open a, a hobby box of chronicles. I've only opened retail up to this point. So got some high expectations for the hobby. Oh, there's a thick card on there. Is it a filler? or Oh, it's not a filler. So we got, again, not sure how thick the autos are in here, if this is maybe a mem card, um, but there's something good in, in there. Mo Bamba. Jordan Clarkson. Avery Bradley. He's now in the Lakers, too. There we go, already. Mo Bamba numbered parallel. 70 of 99. Not a bad, not a bad pull to get a Bamba out of the first pack. Lonnie Walker and Lonnie Walker. So we got two Lonnie Walkers and a Bruce Brown. So I think we got. Kind of feels like this might be a patch. Maybe it's a patch auto. Oh. All right, let's see who we got here. Is that D Brown? D Brown. Ooh, patch auto of D Brown on card, not a sticker. Uh, 54 of 99. Some of you young guys might not even uh, remember D Brown. Slam dunk champ with his no look dunk and pumping up those Reebok pumps. D Brown, patch auto. So there's our first auto right there. 
go ahead and get this uh, real quick, get this one sleeved up. Not a huge name, obviously, but it's kind of a fun pull. I mean, I, you know, one of those nostalgic things bringing me back to watching that dunk contest when I was a kid. All right, so first auto pulled out of the first pack. It's kind of cool to get a patch auto than just a standard auto, uh, number 99. Hobby packs are a lot harder to open than the retail ones for some reason. Brandon Ingram, now on the Pelicans. Eric Bledsoe. Jamal Murray, another numbered card right there. Jamal Murray, blue parallel, numbered 299. I like seeing the numbered cards in here. Luca, nice to get a numbered Luca. This is a base Luca, standard, not numbered or anything. Rodion Securix. Kevin Herter. Oh, there's our second auto already. First two packs had the two autos. So it's a. Kevin Love, uh, not an on-card, it's a sticker auto, uh, no patch or anything, number two of 75. So there's our two autos. Was hoping to get a rookie auto. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be more than two autos in this box since we pulled uh, two autos out of the first two packs. So maybe we'll get a loaded box with, with one more auto. It'd be nice to get uh, a nice rookie auto instead of just the Kevin Love and the D Brown. But let's keep going, see what else we can get out of here. Yep, that pack open easier. There's another thick card in here. Is this a filler? It's not a filler. So <laughs> there may be something else good in here. Definitely a thick card in there. All right, I like that. I like getting three thick cards in the first three packs. D'Anthony Melton. Kevin Knox. Blue Parallel of Elite. Numbered 33 of 99. We've gotten a numbered card in every single pack so far. Dante DiVincenzo Crusade. Miles Bridges. Another one of these nice Obsidian previews. Really cool looking cards. Josh Okoji. Troy Brown Jr. Julius Randall. And... Let's see what this is. It's definitely a thick card. Jerome Robinson, 197 of 249, Majestic. So no auto, no mem, um, just a thick card. These Majestic cards are a little bit, uh, pretty thicker stock. It's probably a 75 or maybe a 100 point. So kind of got faked out by the thick card on that one. card in this pack. Harrison Barnes, Trevor Ariza, Bruce Brown, Red Parallel. This one's numbered as well. 7 of 149. Focus, come on. Well, you can just trust me. There you go. Oh. Lost it again. 7 of 149, 007. Took a long time to get that one. Jaron Jackson Jr., uh, base essentials. Mitchell Robinson, base essentials. Uh, Kevin Knox. Which one is this? Hmm. I'm actually not sure uh, what version that is. Haven't seen many of those yet. Landry Shamit and a Dante DiVincenzo. So just a couple more packs to go, two more. Again, so far we've gotten both two autos, we've gotten a lot of numbered cards. Uh, another thick card in here, this may be another one of the uh, Majestics, um, but let's kind of save it till the end no matter what. Maybe we'll get lucky. 
Jerome Robinson. Again, this stuff is just completely loaded with rookies. Alonzo Trier, this is a red parallel. Uh, it's also numbered. This one's 22 to 149. Moritz Wagner. Another Wendell Cutter Jr. Obsidian Previews. This is the same one we pulled out of the, uh, the hanger pack. Colin Sexton. Miles Bridges. And a Josh Richardson. And what's this thick card here? So, oh, this one's numbered. Oh, this is Mitchell Robinson. And this is numbered to 10. Three of 10. That is really nice. I can't read what that says. Plates and patches. I think that's what that says. Plates and patches. Haven't come across any of these yet, but numbered to 10. This, this might be the lowest numbered card I've actually uh, ever pulled out of a pack. Mitchell Robinson. And again, he's, he's predicted to have a really, really... Uh, nice career. I, I know a lot of guys who are really high on Mitchell Robinson. Let's go ahead and sleeve that that bad boy up. So his stuff might not be going for a lot right now, but maybe that's one of the guys you hold for a little bit. Um, see how the next couple seasons play out and see what you can get out of them. Last pack here. Final one to go. Uh, sorry, this is kind of a long video, um, but I did want to show the three different types of boxes here. So hopefully you guys uh, stuck through to the end. Hamadou Diallo, Wendell Carter Jr. Studio, Omari Spellman. It was a nice uh, crusade. This is a parallel crusade. It doesn't look like it's numbered unless the number's on the back. Oh, there you go. Trey Young, 48 of 99. Really, really Great looking card, that blue and red crusade. That's awesome. Kevin Herter, Lonnie Walker, base Panini, Stephen Adams, Chronicles. Oh boy. Last card, Luka Doncic, 22 of 49. Majestic, looks like a gold foil parallel there. Wow, what a pull from that last card there. Ay, ay, ay. That was close. He is okay. <laughs> Sleeve him up. All right. So I think there's pretty much no question that even though we spent significantly more uh, for that hobby box, um, we definitely got way, 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 way more value uh, out of that hobby. So we had the, this was a Trey Young. Uh, I think it was numbered to... 99, um, I'm going to try and go through everything quickly here, which was another Alonzo Trier, that one was numbered. All kinds of really nice numbered cards in here. Uh, again, not going to really bother going through all of them right now. Um, but the four big hits, so our two autos, actually were the two autos probably weren't the big hits in the box. Uh, the D Brown patch auto and the Kevin Love auto to 75. It's good to have those. But these were probably the two bigger hits. The Mitchell Robinson numbered to 10 and the Luka Doncic numbered to 49. Definitely my lowest numbered. I think that actually that's the first time I've pulled a serial numbered Luka out of anything. So really happy with that Chronicles box. This stuff was just so much fun to rip. Uh, probably my last time doing Chronicles for 1819. Can't wait till they bring it back again for 1920. Uh, I think with the Zion Mania and all the rookies that are going to come in Chronicles 1920. Um, it's going to be another really, really huge product for, for next year. All right. Sorry for the long video, guys, but hopefully you stuck through it and saw the, uh, the nice Luca pulled at the end. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll have another video real soon.